they oh look at that glitch. God damn. <laughs> that fucking thing stretched all over the place. Stretch Armstrong. You don't even get to appreciate the bodies and they disappear. Oh, I can't wait to try out the invention. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, fans of all ages, to another Let's Try Out video. I'm Proto Dad, and today we're going to be trying out Invention. I'm pretty sure this game is still in development. I don't honestly know uh, what it is or what it's... I think it's a first-person shooter. As you may or may not know, a Let's Try Out video is a part Let's Play. That means there's going to be some commentary in here. A part tutorial, you learn as I learn. A part first impressions, because most of these games I've never played before. And you're going to get to hear my thoughts as they kind of roll off my head in the moment. It's also kind of a part review, because I kind of construct my... I try to reiterate my thoughts at the end of the video and try to reconstruct a, a semblance of some sort of assessment. But by no means a thorough review. But of course, a mixed bag like this doesn't do any of those things very well. And all this, in 45 minutes or less, if I can, I try to make it as short as possible, but at the same time try to give you a realistic experience of what the first 30 minutes or so of a video game really is. That way you're better equipped to make the decision as to whether this game is the right fit for you and if you want to spend your hard-earned money on it. At the end, I do a Let's Read the Words of the Developer segment where we go back and read what the developer advertises for their game and then we try to assess whether they're feeding us a load of bullshit or if it's totally spot on on point with the way they advertise their their video game product so we're going to jump right into it and try to figure it out okay right off the bat the audio is way too fucking high <laughs> the options are either we can have sound or we can have no sound at all. <laughs> so, <laughs> we got low normal and high graphics. Okay, so uh, apparently this game is a lot uh, simpler and cheaper than I, than I imagined. So uh, just be wary. Turn your fucking volume down if you fire up this game in the future. So how to play WASD to move around, mouse to look, a left button to shoot, mouse wheel to change weapons, tab for inventory, F for action, spacebar jump, shift run. <laughs> Okay, so we can't we can't redefine any settings. This is already not looking not looking good. So we can choose a new game. Maybe we choose a flag. Like what? Who are we like gonna represent? I don't know. This is a new game. Wake up on an island. Okay. New task, check this place. Okay, so this is a single player only game is what I'm thinking. Uh, so we've got some pretty simple textures. Whenever I move, like I'm, I'm like it continues to move for just a second after you, after you release the button. So let me just tell you, stop. Like, I'm going to say stop whenever I release the button. I'm going to say release. Here we go. Release. 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 So I don't know if that's a design choice, uh, that they have a little bit of lag in the movement, but uh, whatever. Space. Uh, looks like I'm supposed to jump over this stuff. What the fuck? The frame rate. Jesus Christ. With the textures and the way the, the models are, I, I should be getting a, a fuckload of frames per second right now, but it feels like I'm not. And we got a ladder that goes up to nothing. Uh, let's see. Uh, um, this game looks like um, it's trying to achieve some late 90s graphical fidelity, uh, I guess. I mean, that might be that might be a design choice, but then again, that might just be... Now, there's a floating tree root up there on that tree. No, it's just because the people making this game is just that fucking cheap. Uh, so we got this tree here is the exact same tree as that over there. And uh, I'm sure we'll be up there. It is again right there, the exact same tree. So we've got a lot of models that are exact same. 
Like this, the frame rate is not smooth. Like what the fuck? Are we doing like 30 frames a second? Bird noises aren't bad. Project X Corporation, we make people happier, do you? Okay, so I'm gonna hit tab. What do I got here, a diary? Something's wrong, that's true. Halfway to the house, the plane started to shake while the pilot said not to worry. Uh, worry is not a necessary, <laughs> is not necessary, I'm <laughs> sorry. Uh, one of the pilots said that worry is not necessary. I hope that everything will be all right and I will return safely home to my wife and children. Okay, what's my tasks? Check the place. Explore the island. Okay. It's a bunker. It's a bunker, folks. Oh, there's an invisible wall here. That's immersion breaking. That's an invisible wall. Invisible wall. What the fuck? Okay, so you click on the intercom button thing and apparently you get teleported inside. Uh-huh. This thing's glowing. I bet you I have to pick it up. Well, what did it do? Right click to read it apparently. The ele elevator works intermittently. Be careful, the note says. Okay. So I have a health bar at the bottom, uh, I got a stamina bar, I guess, and I have a green bar, which is probably food and hunger, I'm guessing. Or uh, like, like food and water, because it's going down at a, at a steady clip. So this is a big ass, like, fucking freight elevator, uh, goods, equipment elevator, into a bunker that no human is supposed to be inside of, I'll guess. Hmm. Oh, level one. Level one. Pipe wrench. Okay. Now what? Oh, so this is this inventory system is movable. Okay. Uh... Okay, yeah, so I picked that up. The frame rate, god fucking damn. What the fuck? Like, I, I, you should be able to see this in the in the recording. What? It's like... Uh, I don't know if that's something that's hard-coded into a video game. It's just like it's something it can't do. But then again, like looking at the... Oh, uh... well, that guy's humping that other guy. That's not right. Now, how do I bring out my weapon? Okay, I'm gonna hit tab. Okay, I gotta drag and drop it over to a slot. So I'm guessing that's medicine. Hmm. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Oh, let's just appreciate this for a second. The sound effect is not great, but dude, this is really good looking. Dude, that's fucking cool. I mean, it's different. Uh, the hit detection is shit. The actual, like... Look at that frame rate. God damn, man. That fucking is terrible. It's not smooth. This is weird. But that model is fucking neat, man. I like that. Yeah, the hit detection is fucking crap. Whenever you go to click to swing a weapon, it's like it does the damage as soon as you left click, not when not when the animation would have connected with the thing in front of you. So like it's at the very beginning, the very click right then, like and the animation follows the damage. Like it, it follows afterwards. Right click doesn't do anything. Yeah, 
New task, get out of the bunker. Well, I could just go the way I came, right? Of course not. Of course not. Oh, and then it just disappears? Why? Oh, I can loot this. Lootable container. Okay, so this is one thing that really pisses me off. So you got to hit tab. If I hit F on this container and it opens up a window for me to do an action in, like transfer items or whatever, you can hit the take all button down here and it'll take all. I want to reach up and smack the escape button to get out of the window and go back to playing the game, but it pauses instead and gives me the options menu. Um, there's uh, several other games that behave that way. Like I press F on this and I have to hit tab to get out of the window. And I think that's bullshit. Like, that shit pisses me the fuck off. It's ridiculous. It's silly. It's silly, and it's ridiculous, and it's unnecessary, and I don't like it. It pisses me off. Uh, because if I hit escape in a window like this, I just want the window to go away. So I can quickly get back to business like if something's attacking me real quick. But instead, it puts me, it lands me in a pause menu, and then i got to freeze up and think about what to do next. And i got to hit the escape button again to get back into the game. If I hit escape, I want the window to go away, not pause the game and go to the options menu. That should happen if I hit escape right now, which it does. I hate to be a little bitch, but that's just, you know, it's just something that needs to happen in a game like this. In a survival, you know, whatever this fucking shit is. We need to get a gun. Give me a gun, somebody. Okay, so I'm having to hit tab. Ooh. Take all. Mm-hmm. Okay, so this whole thing maybe is one container, actually. Let's try that out. Let's test it out. So I put it in there. Let me... Yeah, it's one container. Because it doesn't matter which one of these I uh, click on. It's, it's all the same. Inventory. Oh, those are different. Okay, so these zombies are faster. How come the first thing was way scarier and it was moving way slower? So, one hit from this thing knocked me down like a sixth of my health. And the hit detection to pick up shit is like ridiculous. You don't even get to appreciate the bodies and they disappear. Like, I don't know when this game came out, but as of right now, decals in the world, quote unquote decals, like a uh, bullet, like uh, bullet uh, uh, decals that appear whenever you shoot stuff, and dead bodies should not disappear from the world. They need to stay. Okay, I've done something. I'll take that medical kit. That's my medical kit, baby. So the gun model doesn't look too bad. I mean, it looks like a big toy gun. I mean, it looks like a like a, a toy gun you'd get from Toys R Us for a uh, you know a uh, a young teenager or something that's just painted to look realistically. That could be a design choice. It could be an aesthetic that they're that they're going for. So I hit that switch. What did that do? Didn't open that door. Does it open this door? It does. So this one's moving faster. So maybe the design was the first monster you encounter moves extremely slow. Well, that's not true because then this one's moving extremely slow. And reload R. Reload animation is pretty simple. More shotgun shells. That guy's got nothing on him. Oh, so you can, I can check this dead body. Oh, man. Uh-huh. And that's a note. I should read the note. Sometimes at night I hear strange sounds. It seems they hear from the second level. Do they hear from the second level? Do they really? That's a big-ass TV, you know what? And it didn't, didn't, didn't shatter like I wanted it to. Um, these look like big uvulas on the wall. So that's cool. Uh, books, books, body, nothing on the body. Golly. Oh, 
Golly, that was dumb. That was turbo dumb. This is a classroom? Hell yeah. Got me some shotgun shells, baby. Um, I'm trying to decide whether I like the way the blood stains are or if I d dislike it, but I'm thinking I like it in a way. I think it ends too much like it is a decal that they put as decoration in the world. Of course, if you look at everything hard enough, that's exactly what it all is. Uh, I really appreciate that they're that they're chalkboard. It's I'm I'm assuming this is a chalk chalkboard. Uh, <laughs> that their chalkboard is like a computer workstation with three monitors. It's really neat. I like that. That's like some meta game thinking stuff. Oh, this is a Russian game. Oh, look, it's Cyrillic. It's all written in Cyrillic. So this is another Russian game, another first person shooter, uh, survival monster horror uh, action game game. Man, there's a lot of these. And there's been a lot of these games that I've been covering on the channel here lately. Uh, I mean, I need to go back and do the classics. I need to go back and do Stalker. Uh, oh, cool. Like, the human zombies, they don't look too bad. I mean, actually, they look really, really terrible, but... Uh, it's not real bad. It's not, man, this game looks like it's old as fuck. I mean, but it seems like it shouldn't flask with water. So that is my food. Okay. So I just right clicked on it. I guess I used it. Restores some health, med kit, med, med kit, first aid kit. So I'm going to hit right click on that. And it restored a little bit of health. And we can't combine stacks. Uh, I don't know like what happens if if your health in your water bar is all the way down. Does that mean your health starts to drain? Is that what that's about? What is that? Uh, what the fuck? I can't read what that is. <laughs> Enter level access card. A one-time card for any level. Oh, so it's like Doom 2. Uh, you got the uh, the blue key card to, to open up the blue doors. So yeah, this is a really, really bad design, UI design. Uh, so they've got layers like in Photoshop or whatever, and uh, the tooltip is underneath this layer over here. That's interesting. Let me read this. I leave you an access card to the level two. Use it only when absolutely necessary. Okay. I'm going to take all that. Gotta make sure I don't miss anything. So there's a certain certain little bit about this game that reminds me of the game Unloved, where it's like a random generated level uh, scheme, and you gotta make your way through the level and get upgrades and stuff and try to get more powerful. So that way you're better equipped for the next time you go in and uh, uh, next time you start a random raid, basically. So it's kind of like Left 4 Dead two in a way but it's uh it's a randomized what do they call that uh random dungeon uh a roguelike um and you get to keep your upgrades and stuff and, and you win weapons as you go through the level and all that stuff gets reset but your powers and stuff they they stay the same they they get upgraded or whatever that was a cool new model that we haven't seen yet it's got all like bony fingers and shit that's all right i can dig on that this corpse looks like it's just bored in the corner. <laughs> Can I open the doors? No. Um, it would please me if there was some more interaction. What the fuck? That's a container? That little thing right there is a container? Huh. It would please me if there was some more interaction to be had. Uh... Like, I'm hitting F on just about everything, and I'm not seeing much happen. Um, something else, too, that may make it eerie, is no music. There's no, there's absolutely zero music. But the animations are simple as fuck. The sound effects are simple as fuck. The environments are simple as fuck. Uh, 
it's, it's not that I hate it. It's just that there's not a whole lot going on. It doesn't feel like a living, like a lived in world. Uh, there's clipping issues with, uh, with some of the stuff. I'm not seeing it right now. I'm pretty sure this wouldn't actually, from an engineering standpoint, I'm not sure that this would actually work. I don't know if concrete holds itself up so good like that. Um, so there leaves much to be desired. There's no crouch. Is there really no crouch? There's no crouch. So I can't get to those those boxes that presumably are his loot container. Oh, I've got a new note added. I'm going to take all these. Okay. So we've got some bad guys in here, and I still only have two weapons. Oh. So you cock the gun every time you change weapons. Like Left 4 Dead 2. Or maybe CSGO. Oh, dude, he's got like a loincloth. Okay, so... I don't know if you can... You can interrupt the uh, reloading animation by left-clicking. So if you start to reload and then you got to shoot, you can interrupt it. So that's cool. I'm glad they got that in here. Um, if this is a single player game, which it seems like it is, it seems like there's not any co-op going on uh, to be had. Where did my note go? Today, the doctors told me that I will experience. <laughs> Today, the doctors told me that I will experience on its development. They said that once make me an injection, I become stronger and hardier. I do not understand why they are kept us in a cage. Um, I don't know if the broken English, uh, not quite, uh, not quite understandable, uh, normal English is intended. It could be intended. And that could be an artistic choice. Uh, although since this, we've already established this is a Russian game, I highly doubt it. It's probably just broken English because of bad translation. Uh-huh. So yeah, there's if this game is a first person of uh, I mean a, a single sh player game only, why is there no music? There should be some music here. Oh, a key. A key from a door. It's not to a door, but it's from a door. Okay. Yeah, I'd like some music. That'd be cool. Um I would like to see some um audio level adjustment. It seems a lot. It seems a little bit like the game Unloved, although Unloved has got more living shit happening. It's, it's a little bit more alive. This game could be old though. Um, I don't know. We're gonna. Oh, I got a helmet, dude. Depreciation. I like that. I like that. That's called depreciation. Candy bar. Take all. Oh, I need to eat some of these candy bars. Okay, so let's put this helmet on. And an army vest. Take all that. Open up this screen, put the army vest on. What the fuck? What's this 1234 shit about? I want a different gun, goddammit. That was cool. Hell yeah. Oh. I need to eat some more, I think. A biscuit? And satisfies hunger? Okay. God damn, the fucking escape button. Shit. Oh, finally found the gun. And a machete. Okay. Let's uh, let's put the uh, pipe wrench up and put the knife in her hand. Two different animations for swinging. Not bad. I'll put that up because I want handgun action. Looks kind of like a Beretta. Got a lot of uh, extra 
magazines. We'll go through this door. Kind of feel as though the pistol should have been the starting weapon that you get. Okay, let's just appreciate this animation real quick. <laughs> He's fucking dodging my bullets. All right. Hey, I love that loincloth. I like the fingers and shit. That really reminds me of uh, some Resident Evil. The animation on the weapons are super simple and super dumb. Um, a grenade? I'm gonna go ahead and eat that apple. Oh, shit. So, what's down here? Okay, so it's an invisible wall. I can't walk off. Can't walk off the end. Gotta get that reload. Oh, wow. So he didn't cock the gun whenever he reloaded. Um, I need to pay attention to this. Fuck you, die. Okay, so I guess if you shoot him in the head, they will die. Okay, so I'm gonna reload. He didn't cock the gun. Let's run or dry. There was a little difference in the animation there, so apparently somebody's paying some sort of attention. <laughs> Yeah, there was a little bit of a cock. Yeah, that's it. I don't know. It's it's like his left hand cocks the gun from the bottom. Like, there's no over-the-top slide, pulling back the slide. That's really weird. Uh, but, you know, hey, if you're not paying attention, you wouldn't, you wouldn't notice it. Um, those sly dogs. Oh, man. So, oh, we got a grenade. Does that mean a grenade can go in one of these slots down here? No, it can't. So what's the one, two, three, four shit about? Come on, baby. It's not that hard. So once I open the door, I can't close it? Is, is that what it is? is? Is that how the world works? Okay, so I can close that door. But I can't close this door. Maybe... Okay. Maybe it's just hit or miss. God damn. Hmm. I wonder how deep does this game go? Like, how far does it go? Like, is this a, is this a two hour video game? Can't go down that way. It just leaves a fucking dark spot. Okay, so this seems like a wasted fucking room. Like, what's the point of this room if you can't do anything in there? I don't, I honestly don't believe it's something that you come back to. I honestly don't believe it's like, oh yeah, you're supposed to come to this room and uh, you gotta mix something in here and then something happens over here. I, I don't believe so. This is poor design. Uh... There's not much to it. It's very simple. If that's the case, though, how come I can't open this door and proceed forward? There's an invisible wall here. I can't go into the water. So what's next? What am I missing? Was that seriously the end of that journey? Okay. Got me a new note. Don't know where it's at. Vaccine test failed. The subject has died after minutes, 27 seconds. 
after. Oh, so it doesn't even tell me like I can't even read everything that's here. It goes off the page. All this time he was paralyzed. So after probably it's four, I'm guessing it's a four minutes, 27 seconds. I wonder if the rest of these are like that. I don't, I didn't see that they seem like they were missing any, any words or anything. Okay. So, uh, fuck a duck. What the fuck? What's next? Okay. So we've gone through every room in this area. Where to? Where go? What next? What's the dealio? Okay. Can't go that way. So I can't go through into the water. So there's a valve here. This has got to drain the water. We found our first puzzle. How wonderful. So we've drained the water with a simple twist of a twist of a, a valve. And these electronics are not fucked up at all being underwater like they were. So now those electronics will unlock that door, I'm guessing. Okay. Um hmm. We're in the next section. Clips. I got clips. And another gun. Oops. I missed. How dare I? I do appreciate how some of the uh, like models run and some of them shamble. I like that. A little bit of variety. I think that's cool. Um, I think there's not enough world building right now in this game. I think it would be cool if there was a difficulty. Yeah, so uh, if I didn't say it earlier, I'm going to go ahead and mention that uh, a Let's Try Out video, the idea is to try to give you, the audience, an idea of what the first... Why do I have a red gun up? The first impressions, my first impressions of the game, and to give you an idea of what the first 30 minutes or so of a video game is, that way you can make an inf a better informed judgment as to whether you are interested in adding this to your wish list on Steam or otherwise seeking this game out and purchasing it. Um, I will give you a little bit of uh, a tutorial as you learn as I learn as we go through the game and uh, and I experience what the game is like. Uh, hey, we got a new gun. We get to uh, we get to decide whether this game is absolute crap or or you know if it's uh, if it's uh, if it's okay or whatever. Um, so it's a little bit of a review in this too. It's uh, it does none of these things very well. It's kind of a mixed bag. Every time I do one of these videos, you never know what you're going to get. You might get something that's well informed and uh, and cohesive, or you might just get me rambling on as I play a a shitty, cheap, fucking goofy ass, incomplete video game on Steam. Um, so the very last thing that I like to do is I like to read the words of the developer on Steam to see if the people that are advertising the game, the developer and the publisher, if they're trying to feed us a line of bullshit to convince us to fork pony up our uh, our hard-earned dollar for a game that does not perform uh, to the standards. Um, that way, we can make a better informed decision as to whether we want to buy this game, right? So we are we're going to transition into the section I like to call the words of the developer. And I'll read the words and uh, we'll see at the price point if it's actually worth it, in my opinion. So yeah, um, I've been Proto Dead. Appreciate you sticking with me this long. Um, tell me what you think about the uh, about the presentation here today. Oh, look at that glitch! God damn! 
<laughs> that fucking thing stretched all over the place. Stretch Armstrong. Uh, tell me what you think about the video. Tell me what you think about the video game. Is there anything about it that I'm wrong about? Leave a comment down below. Uh, get engaged. Give me some input, some feedback. Thumbs up my game if you uh, my, uh, thumbs up my video if you liked it. Thumbs down if you fucking hated it. Um, and then uh, share my video if you can. It helps me out a whole lot, man. Thanks. Let's uh, let's play some trailers in the background here and. Uh, and I'll read the words of the developer and let's see let's see if it's worth it. Oh, he's a big boy. Oh, he's a big boy. Oh, he's just relaxing. Yeah, he's just taking his time, taking a little nap. I think the models are inventive. I don't mind those. Okay. Exit. Apparently, this game invention is not on Steam anymore. It's been yoinked from Steam, I guess. Okay, so I couldn't find it on Steam, uh, but apparently on Metacritic.com, its summary is a 3D first-person shooter with RPG elements. Actions in the game take place on a mysterious island within a secret laboratory. It is an arcade first-person shooter action developed by Falcoware. Uh, it looks like it was released January 2017, so it's not old at all. Jesus fucking Christ. There's only one review on Metacritic, and it is negative. <laughs> so, honestly, I don't know how I got a hold of this game. It must have been on Steam, and it caught my attention, and I bought it on sale, and then I forgot about it forever, and then it, they yoinked it from Steam, I'm guessing. Uh... I mean, that's the only thing I can come up with. And maybe you can download the game for free now. Uh, it looks like it looks like it might be available on some other websites, but it's no longer available on Steam anymore. So I don't even know how much it was selling for. I guess you can't beat free. I mean, if you can find it for free, um, this is freegamepick.net. It looks like it's maybe they're advertising that you can download the game for free. Uh, I, I wouldn't click on this shit. There's no telling what it would try to download. But, uh, yeah, apparently if the game was, was available for $0, I'm pretty sure I paid money for it. Um, I think it's worth a laugh. Uh, I, I think, I think a beginning, uh, studio, a beginning person developing a game, I think they did a good job putting it together, you know? But if it was a studio meant to make money and also, um, be a work of art and try to inspire people to and really enjoying get immersed into a story, into a first-person shooter, I think they failed. It fucking sucks that way. Uh, shit. Uh, I don't know what else to do. I mean... I guess that's it. That's the end of the video. Bye. Alright, thanks for stopping by and watching another video. Appreciate you making it all the way to the end. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for future content. Uh, leave, uh, leave a like if you liked it, dislike if you disliked it. Leave a comment down below expressing any other feelings that you might have. I have been Proto-Dead, and I will see you in the future.